Hello, hello, my friends. Um, well, today we're going to have a little clip with uh, which I think something that is kind of spicy and it's good uh, for us to reflect on it. I got this message from uh, one of the people who follows me and um, this person is uh, asking me this question and here it goes. He says, hello, Roberto. I have a concern that continues to affect my life and it doesn't seem to go away. I hope you could help me. Is there a way to know if my partner is cheating on me? Um, this is a question that is a valid question and many of us who have been in a romantic relationship or who are in a romantic relationship, from time to time we might have um, and might affect the way um, uh, or how we feel. But I think instead of um, answering with techniques to follow and investigate and, became, and become a private eye to see if the person is cheating or not cheating, my tendency will be more about to talk, uh, to talk and to explore about what are you doing to make yourself happy? Why are you investing your time and energy in something that you are powerless, that you have no control over? You don't have control over any other person but yourself. Now, if you have children, obviously you are, you have some some control over your children um, when they're young, when they're uh, very uh, young kids. But then, when they're teenagers and they become adults, that control goes out the window. But let's go back to the romantic issue. And I think what happens is that when we start investing into, is my partner cheating on me? Is my partner looking another person? Is my partner going astray? Um, I'm losing precious time to invest in myself. Instead of working and doing things that are going to make me happy, I'm investing energy, good energy, into something that has no content. I think it's important that I spend time into, uh, am I doing all I can today to make me happy? Or if that's not the case, why not? How come I'm not doing all the things I could do to make me happy? How come I'm allowing this distraction to pull me from myself and to drag me into a negative relationship with this energy? Um, I think it's important that I look into what can I do every day to make myself happy. Now, if spending time with my partner is one of the items in my list, welcome. Welcome to do that. Plan. Plan to spend time together. Go to the movies, go to dinner, go shopping, um, go to uh, for walks, spend time with the family, friends, uh, pets, you name it. Um, but I think if your partner, for whatever reason, doesn't want to spend time with you and you see that your partner is paying less attention to you, I think it's important for you to figure out what are you doing um, that make you unhappy. Um, and at one point, I'm not saying it would be important to talk about if the other person is less uh, interested in maintaining the relationship or not. but. Try to investigate, try to become a private eye. Um, I think it's the wrong way to, to go about this issue. I think for me it's about what can I do to make me happy? Do I need to spend more time with my friends? Do I need to spend more time with my kids? Do I need to spend more time with my parents? Do I need to spend more time with my pet? Do I need to do some activities at work that make me feel satisfied? Do I need to write? Do I need to read? Do I need to go to church? Do I need to go to the temple? Uh, do I need to have some meditation? Do I need to do some yoga? Do I need to walk? Do I need to exercise? Do I need to go to the beach? Do I need to go to the mountains? What can I do to make me happy? So by the end of the day, I feel satisfied. What kind of food I eat? Is that good for me? Or is this food just helping me to cope with the stress? Or is this food just helping me to cope with feeling sad? Um, so there are many things that, I, uh, that I, I believe the individual could incorporate into his or her life to 
to start making some changes, to start uh, adjusting the way we behave uh, with this um, uh, dynamic that we have with what I call the universe, uh, which expands and contracts at different times. Um, but start investigating if the other person is loyal to me or not loyal to me, um, if this person is cheating or not cheating, I think it's a waste of time. Uh, and I think I will encourage you um, that you invest all that time and energy into yourself and to find activities that make you happy. Now, um, having those activities and becoming a happier person will attract people around you. And hopefully that attraction will be with your mate. Until the next time, if you have more questions, please ask me at my uh, webpage that is listed up there. And until the next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.